Hi! Most of this course is about examples. Why? Because we people are made to learn by example. And guess what? ChatGPT has also been made to learn by example. In fact, training AI models means to show them as many examples as possible, or as we like to call it, training data. Because of this, ChatGPT loves being prompted by example. And this is what we're gonna do in this lecture. In fact, we've already seen this technique. Let's go back to the unlimited exercises generator from lecture 6.2. I will first fork this chart. Forking here means duplicating, but only until a certain point. You can fork a chat from any message. Next, let's add it to the folder 6.8 examples and prompting by example. And name it with a good name. Here's the context. I have just started talking to LLMs. I'm trying to think of different questions I can ask to have meaningful conversations with the AI. Here is a list of the conversation I've had thus far. Write an email, how to resolve a conflict with my colleague, learn to code, blah blah, until the end. Please create a list of 10 more conversation topics similar to these. By the way, we are already incorporating knowledge from the prompting PDF. Okay. This resulted in 10 more conversation topics you can explore. Notice how similar they are in structure, but different in terms of content. Truth is, all of these are really, really good chats you can have with the AI. Then we provided 20 more and then 50 more. Essentially, we can ask ChatGPT to do this forever, but no matter how hard we try, all examples will be somewhat similar to the first 10 in terms of structure. I would call the first 10 examples the seed. ChatGPT has captured the essence of the seed of these 10 examples and is ready to generate infinitely many other topics that are similar to them. Note that if you provide a different seed, you would get very different results. Just for comparison, let's explore the other extreme. No examples. I will fork the conversation from the first prompt and rename the chat while forking it. Next, I'll edit it to remove all examples. Finally, I'll change the goal to please create a list of 10 conversational topics I can have. The results are not bad per se. It's just that they're all about AI and something. The output is not good because ChatGPT has no context about what we want to achieve. In the same way that personas provide a lot of context with very few words, examples provide a lot of context too. More specifically, examples provide the patterns we are looking for. It is hard to explain a pattern, but it is easy to show it. You don't even need to understand the pattern. Prompt well with examples and ChatGPT will find the pattern on its own. Let's do one last example before we go. We discussed personas at length in one of the previous lectures. Did you create your own persona? Don't worry if you haven't, we'll quickly create one. I had to make sure you create one, sorry. Context. Here are some examples of prompting with personas. Then I'll provide 
from the team GPT library, the architect, the educator, and the marketing specialist. Based on these, please create a business development persona. This is our goal. There you have it. A new persona has arisen. Feel free to save it to your own prompts. Note that you can do all of this in a single step through the build your own persona prompt in the team GPT library. Great. Showing examples to ChatGPT is one of the most powerful techniques. Remember, ChatGPT sucks at being original. However, it is amazing at replicating things that have been done before. And examples are just this, things that have been done before. Good luck and thanks for watching.